Hello everyone, it's Jen. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and my craft table. Today's video is installment four of our Teacher Appreciation Week. And in this video, we are going to focus on creating custom infusible ink coasters. Each round ceramic coaster has a custom design and they will be nestled in a small craft board box that has a colorful cardstock liner and an acetate window. In our first video of this installment, we made personalized treat boxes. These are made with craft board and adhesive vinyl. And on one side, we even included a monogram for each teacher. In another video in our series, we created custom acrylic keychains. These are made with adhesive vinyl and have a really sweet coordinating tassel. In a third video, we made custom teacher notepads. These were designed using Canva and on the back, we even have some craft board. This will give it a sturdier, more professional appearance. And of course, the traditional glue across the top for a tearaway design. Now let's focus on today's infusible ink coasters. Let's talk about the supplies that you're going to need for today's project. You're gonna need infusible ink transfer sheets, some heat resistant tape, infusible ink coasters, I chose the round ones. You're gonna need a lint free cloth or a lint roller, scissors, tweezers, and then for the craft boxes, I just used some craft board, any color will do, clear acetate sheets for the window, and some colored cardstock for the liners, and craft glue. Let's head over to Design Space, and I will show you a bit of how I made the designs that I chose for this project. So here I am in Design Space, and I just did a search for coaster boxes. And you can see that there's almost 12,000 possibilities to choose from. And really, I just wanted something simple. So I looked until I found basically a top and a bottom. And I really liked this one that had a clear acetate window and colorful liner. I thought that was a nice touch. And you can see how the designer created the cut and score lines and also included a portion for the acetate piece and a liner. Now, as far as the coasters themselves, I really just used the monogram feature in Design Space. So all of these that you see are made using the, the uh, Design Space monogram feature, but the P and the D, those are actually Design Space images, and I just welded in a circle and sliced out the initial. Okay, let's head over to the overhead camera and talk about infusible ink. Now, with infusible ink, the boxes look very bright and vibrant and colorful, and this is the result that you can expect to see after pressing. The infusible ink sheets come in a black bag to protect it from moisture, heat, dust, oil, etc. And you'll want to want to keep that black bag for any leftover pieces. So when I roll this out, you will notice that the color is really muted and light, and that's okay. Once you press, the color becomes very deep and vibrant. It's just beautiful. You are also going to want to make sure that your hands are clean and dry and free of perfume, lotion, etc. Now, the ceramic coasters come in round or square shape, and you're going to need a lint free cloth or lint roller to make sure that there is no dust or anything on the top of the surface. Once you cut and weed your design, like normal, just place the transfer sheet ink side down and liner side up, and then use heat resistant tape to tape onto the coaster. Okay, in the meantime, since I do have one cooling at the moment, let me show you how to make the craft board coaster boxes. And I'm just going to 
grab my supplies here. So I am gonna use craft board. I chose the black color this time, the acetate sheets and colored cardstock. I actually have already cut everything out so that it is pre-cut and ready to go for the video. And I love this because the, the uh, cardstock adds a really nice appearance. Okay, let's go ahead and put this together. So the first thing I did is I looked and made sure that I knew where the score lines were that were created by my Cricut and I used the scoring stylus. I did keep my bone folder close by. This was um, with the window cut out, it did make it a little delicate, but in no time I had them done. Next time I just snipped the corners. This will allow me to basically create a tab for gluing to the inside and one for the outside. And I just used a very tiny dot of glue for each of these little tabs and just held on to them for just a moment before moving on to the next. And I did this all the way around, just moved around the perimeter, gluing, and making sure that they were um, stuck together. So now that I'm done, I have a cute little top. Next, I grabbed my craft glue and used glue all the way around the perimeter. Now you do want enough glue to hold the acetate, but not so much that it just oozes out everywhere. And in the event that that does happen, paper towels or baby wipes make for quick cleanup. And there we go, I'm just gonna let this dry. And next I'm gonna go ahead and fold the bottom of the box. Basically the same process. I'm gonna go along all of the score lines all the way around the perimeter and use the bone folder to make my creases nice and neat. I'm gonna snip all of the corners yet again. And then I'm going to, before I glue the corners, I'm gonna actually put the cardstock liner down. Now you could totally do this after you glue everything up on the sides, but I found it easier to glue down the liner first. Okay, so then I just repeated the same process of a little bit of glue on the inside and outside tabs, and I just continued around the perimeter. This looks so cool, I love it. Now, the best part is that you can just pop your coaster in, pop the top on, and it looks great. So I have actually have one that's just about done cooling, but I have all the other coasters here. These are ready to go. So this one um, is done cooling. It does take about 15 to 20 minutes to cool completely. And I'm just going to start removing all of the tape scissors and a weeding tool are actually quite helpful. Just gonna go around removing the tape very gently before peeling up for the final reveal. This is always the most nerve wracking part to be honest with you. But this one came out really nice. I absolutely think that this is great. I love the different shading the bright, vibrant colors. Okay, so you can see that we have all seven coasters completed. And I just love these, such great vibrancy and color and variation. I hope this video was informative and inspiring to you. And if it was, be sure to hit that like, subscribe, and share button. I'm also going to have links to the previous designs that we made. So we've got the keychain, notepad, and treat boxes. And I will also have links to all of the materials down in the description box. Our fifth and final video will be coming out soon. So go ahead and make sure that you stay tuned for that. And in the meantime, enjoy a great, amazing cup of coffee and happy crafting. Thank you all so much for watching today. I'm so glad that you can join me at my craft table. If you're not already, I'd love to have you as a subscriber and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when new videos arrive. Have a great day and as always, happy crafting.